In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what's new and some new features we can expect to see in Apple's next iOS update with iOS 17.5. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we have new in iOS 17.5 is that there's a new puzzle game inside the Apple News application. I actually didn't know there was a crosswords and stuff like this before in the Apple News, but they actually had some games available and now it's synchronized with Game Center. And you're also getting a brand new game called Quartile, which you can just pretty much uh, rearrange the words in order to make words out of those little characters that you have on screen. If you use Apple News and you have fun with those little games, you're going to have a new addition with Quartile now available in iOS 17.5 in Apple News. Next, Apple's making some tweaks to the Apple's podcast widgets. So if you're using Apple's podcast and you're listening to any content in Apple's podcast, the widget's automatically gonna dynamically change the color based on the dominant color in the cover art for the podcast that you're listening to. So it's a slight little tweak that you're gonna see in the widgets if you're using Apple's podcast widgets on your device. Next, Apple's introducing a new book counter in the Apple Book app. So this is gonna be tracking your daily reading goals. So right beside your profile picture, there's going to be an icon. So it says five underneath. So my daily reading goal is five minutes. When it's completed, it's going to have that circle filled out. And once you click on it, you can actually go all the way to the bottom. And it's going to show you your today's reading goals, how much you have completed and what your total goal is. And you can also customize that option right within the books app. Next, Apple is allowing EU customers. So whoever is in the EU and they have an iPhone, you can finally download applications directly through Safari. So if you want to download an app that's not available in the App Store or third-party apps and you want to download directly on Safari you now have the option to do so this is not available in North America so I cannot really test this out but there's going to be new apps that are going to be available that you can just download directly within Safari with iOS 17.5 and finally Apple is working on a new feature in the find my network so no longer are you only going to get notification if an Apple air tag is following you but if there's a third-party tracker that's also following you you can finally disable that using your iPhone even if that tracker is not made by Apple. At the moment, the iPhone only alerts users if there's a Find My Certified device that's following them, that's an AirTag or any other devices that's certified for Find My Network, you're going to get alerts for. But now with iOS 17.5, Apple is working with Google to set up a universal network. So any third party devices that are tracking you can be disabled directly from your iPhone, even if it's not made by Apple. And that's about it for iOS 17.5. This is currently in the early beta stages. If there's going to be any more significant features, I'll be updating this video so make sure you're subscribed to the channel like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace